Hello! In this video I will show you how to add holes for dowels and screws to our cabinet, how to add a mate reference to a part and how to control a part feature with equation. First we will add our dowel holes on our shelf. For that reason we will isolate the shelf Start editing. First I will add a plane which is parallel to the side and coincident to the midpoint. So this way I will make the dowel holes only on the one side and then mirror them to the other. And when our mid-plane is coincident to the midpoint, it doesn't matter what the size of our shelf will be, the mid-plane will always move in the middle of the shelf. We add a hole with the hole wizard, we choose dowel holes, in my case it's a 6mm one and it will be with F22. To have a precise position, I will add construction lines, equal, so I need to add dimension only to one of them. And then place points for the dowel holes. Then we have to mirror them. Based on the midpoint, midplane. So now our shelf is ready, we exit isolate, the next we have to do is the side. For the side we will need two configurations, one for the left side and one for the right side. So first I will enter inside the side panel, rename the default to left, and here it will go also in description as left, add configuration. Another right one. We can check using bill of materials or <coughs> also we can say that the document name will be in the bill of materials this way it won't put two different parts. We save and go back to our assembly. Now first I will add the dowel holes and the screw holes on the top and bottom side. Again we isolate edit part. But first of all I will add my mid-plane parallel and exit isolate. What we have to do next is to add the dowel holes for the shelves but they will be dependent also on our shelf count so first we will add just one for the bottom shelf so we take the shelf and the side and isolate them and then edit the side again click on this side then add hole, choose the dowel hole size with 12 and add positions. You will see now that you can add them directly 
related to the holes we have already in the shelf. <coughs> and then click OK. Now we exit Isolate, choose this side and make it right side. In the right side we should suppress the last feature we have added and now take the right side and the shelf and add also the double hole there and exit isolate and suppress this feature in our left side we can name them here like left and right for more understanding now we will take only the side isolate again and we should add a pattern As a start, just add some random number for this pattern. We will adjust it afterwards. So, for this pattern, we need shelf position plus. Shelf thickness. <coughs> and the other thing that we need is the count to be equal to the shelf count. Now we'll exit isolate and we have to enter in the site itself to adjust the rest we go to the right side and add another pattern D3 at L pattern 1 so this is equal at to D3 at Okay, now we have to manage the equations. As you can see, these are equal to the one in the other. And we have to suppress the features if this variable here is equal to 1. First, you have to copy it from here because once you start to type the equation, you won't be able to copy it. So you choose the first feature, write if, you will see the function, then paste equal to 1, then suppress, in the other case unsuppress. You can now copy the complete equation, not to type it again, 
and just add it for the other feature. And then hit OK and save. Now the only thing we're still missing for the side is the cutout for the back. So we will edit the part. Okay, now our sides are ready, our shelves are also ready. We have to add for top and bottom, which is pretty easy because we already have the holes on the sides. Now we will add a match reference towards crew. For this you go on features, reference, geometry, match reference. You pick this face for the screw, leave default, any default and just hit OK. And now you will see how it will snap directly to the position. The mate reference for a doll is a bit different. I have added here a small cut where I want it to snap. And now I will use this edge as reference and say OK. And again for the shelf we add only to one shelf and then we will pattern it and pick both sides and add also their doubles And the last is the screws for the legs. We don't have to add to all four legs because our leg is patterned too, so we just add to one of them and this just add them to the pattern afterwards. And it's all ready. Now we can insert a bill of materials.
where we can see the content of our cabinet. These additional equations for, for the sides was needed because if you have only one shelf, the pattern will receive an error inside the part. That's why we have to suppress it instead. It's not like the assembly pattern, which will be just with a value of 1. And let's check if everything is updating correctly. Like if I want to have uh, 4 shelves, I have to rebuild it manually when I'm changing the shelves. As you can see, the doubles are now 24. With two shells, there are only 16. So, that was all. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy it, if you want more such content, subscribe for the channel.